Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar today. This is Glenn Kendall with Concourse Hosting, and we're going to be talking about Mapbox with Tableau. We uh, use GoToWebinar, as you see, and uh, if you're new to GoToWebinar, there's a big control panel on the side. Uh, we'll be answering questions throughout the webinar, so what you want to do is take that section that's highlighted at the bottom there that says enter questions and pop that out, and then you can collapse the rest of the control panel, clicking the little arrow at the top, and then that way you can see everything that's going on and uh, still be able to ask questions as we go through the webinar. With me today is Hale Kendall. Hi, everybody. Hale does a little bit of everything here, mostly marketing, and uh, but she also has a lot of experience with Tableau and has been a Tableau trainer and uh, Tableau consultant with us for a while. And yeah, we're talking about mapping today. And this is the last in our series that we've been doing for the past several weeks about mapping. So if you've been following along here, this really kind of is, is a tad more advanced, but, but most of what we've done is just for a beginner level. Um, so map boxes if you want to, you know, get a little more advanced with your mapping <clears throat> in Tableau. So as I mentioned, we've been doing a series of, of webinars the past um, several weeks, I think five or six weeks now, just about using maps in Tableau. So Mapbox is kind of uh, the cherry on the top, you know, the final bit of our, of our combo platter of mapping here. Uh, what Mapbox is, it's a third-party service that um, does maps, custom maps. So we're going to be talking about some default styles that come with Mapbox that, that you can integrate with Tableau. We'll be talking about how to export and import those into your Tableau worksheets. Then doing a little bit of with custom styles in Mapbox and using those and uh, putting it all together with Google Maps too for, for a little fun at the end. All right, hey, we're going to dive right in here. So again, the stuff that we're doing here is beginner level, right? So um, you don't need to be an expert in classical music to appreciate Mozart. You don't yourself have to be a musician. Even if you're just getting in, dabbling with Tableau, trying to figure things out, that's OK. Um, and that's really the level that we're working at here is it's okay for you just to be uh, diving in and figuring things out. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm pulling up actually a workbook that I made and it's telling me that I upgraded my version here. That's what this little pop-up is uh, from 10.1 to 10.2. But I made this a few weeks ago. Um, this is actually for our first week. Oh, okay. We were doing mapping, so this is the first thing we made. Now we're bringing it back for this last week. So this one I called constituent map, and this is something that you might use for, say, a gift officer, that you would give them a map of, say, okay, here's some prospects, uh, go out and visit these people, or they, you know, tying a, a pros tying a, a list of prospects they have, you know, uh, with a map, so. Here's the dots on the map are the people that, that potentially they would be visiting. Um, in this particular one, what we did was just something really simple where we included you know, the location where the donor was at, the largest gift they gave, when that was that they gave the largest gift, when the last gift was that they gave, and, um, and then the distance away. We just had, had set a distance for basically downtown Indianapolis. So this was just using some sample donors from the state of Indiana, basically, was what we were focusing on here. Um, so don't worry too much about the data set. The idea is that we're going to be taking this, and again, if you want to see how we did this, we record all the webinars. You can go back and, and uh, use that as a reference and um, seeing if we can pretty this map up a little bit. Okay. 
So with Mapbox, the first thing you want to do is open a web browser and go to Mapbox, www.mapbox.com. You want to create an account. I already made an account, so I'm going to sign in. But if you don't have an account, you can click on this box. It says sign up for Mapbox. It's really hard. You put in a username. You have to think of a password. You have to put in your email. Of course, you want to read the terms of service. We always go and do that. And then you sign yourself up. It's free. Uh, the way Mapbox works is that from an account level, basically, um, you get a basic account with them for free, and you get to use, I think, like 50,000 views of maps that you build in that for free. You can see it up at the top here. And you see yeah. Glen Concourse, the starter plan. So this is my account, and it's just going to set all this stuff up for you so you don't have to worry about any of this sort of thing. Then what you do is over here on the left, you have something called styles. So this is kind of how you're going to navigate through different things. You click on styles, and by default, Mapbox has these six different styles to work with. Uh, so we'll start out with Mapbox Streets. So we'll just click on that. So this is just something that's, again, built into, into Mapbox. Um, general purpose map. So let's just take a look at this to see how this would integrate with Tableau. So all you do is you click on the style and you scroll down here to says use style and GIS apps. Hmm, this looks like something that looks familiar. The Tableau logo. So yeah, what we do, <laughs> click here where it says Tableau. They're making it just stupid easy for you. And then you click on this copy. So it's going to copy all this gobbledygook into your clipboard. So boom, and I do that. All right, so now we go back here to Tableau. We go up to Map. And we say Background Maps. So you notice by default, it's using the Tableau map. Whoop. Happy clicking. So then you click just below that to Map Services. And you get this box that pops up, and we're going to say Add. A couple different options, WS, MS servers or Mapbox. We're going to say Mapbox. I'm going to call it the same thing that Mapbox called it, just to be consistent. And I'm going to paste my URL there that I copied. And it's going to fill in all the rest for me. You do have to click, though, in one of those three lines, either API access token, username, or layer ID. By clicking, then it auto-fills. And boom, there it is. So now we have more of a map like you would get in your Rand McNally Atlas. Uh, this reminds me of the days of road trips when I was a kid. We would take the map and look at the map and decide where we wanted to go on our road trip and where we're going to stay. But uh, so... Yeah, this is cool because it gives you, you know, just a different option. This is more mappy looking, obviously. So let's take a look at these other styles in here. Mapbox map Outdoors. And we'll do the same thing. Go to here. Click on that. Go back up here. I don't know which one I'm going to prefer, so why not uh, add a few in here, add a few options. Heck, you don't know which one you're going to prefer. And really, probably, you know what, it might not even be about what you prefer. It's going to be something that what's your, what your users are going to prefer. So you can maybe come up with a different op couple of different options for them, and then you can publish both of those on your Tableau server, and then see which one people like best. Mapbox Dark. Let's add this one. So again, map, background maps. See how it's saving these up here?
So that provides a different level of contrast. And you, again, once it's added in there, you can just quickly pop back and forth between different ones. You know, I was thinking I was going to like the street one, but I kind of like the outdoors one better. It's got more green in it. Green is good. All right, we're going to do, let's do Mapbox Light as well. Pop that in there. Yeah, don't be afraid to get in here and, and try different things. And there's a satellite one. We'll do satellite streets. Okay, that one is very information dense, I would say. Might not be good for this particular application, but hey, it's good to know that it's there and you have that as an option. Um, one other thing I'll show you real quick, when you go into maps, you can also have map layers over here. And this is another place that you can uh, change things. Um, you can do what's called a washout. So if that's sort of overwhelming your data, you can, you know, basically change the transparency of the background map to make your data stand out a little bit more. And the same thing on the streets. You know, if you decide 100% is too much, you know, or 0% rather, this adds this washout feature. Okay. Uh, do you want to show them how to do the export of the different map services, Holly? Well, sure, the export is pretty straightforward. Okay. You can just do it here. So you just want to select the uh, particular map box that you really like. Let's see, we can either do light or outdoors in this case. And we can just do all of them. So we'll start at the top okay, here. Start top the back. All right. And so by doing an export, you're just making a local backup of the map box itself. That way, when you were to make a new workbook or a new Tableau dashboard, rather than having to go up and re-copy and reconnect your map box map, it's just there on your local uh, computer, ready for you to use. So export that. So we'll just go down and export all of them. And we're just saving them. Tableau, by default, when you have Tableau Desktop, creates a folder called My Tableau Repository. And then it breaks that down by either data sources or now Mapbox sources. So uh, easy place by default to find uh, all of these. You can see I go through and delete all of these. Oh no, it's being used. Are you sure you want to delete it? Um, so I deleted them all. They're gone. So now I go into Map Services. So instead of having to do Add here and then go to Mapbox and type and paste the URL every time, I can just import and it will remember the ones um, will remember all the, the settings and whatnot. So I can just do this once, connect all the map box maps that I want, and then quickly import them into any Tableau visualization. Yeah, so this may kind of seem like a little bit of a lengthy process just to get the map box imported this way, but it's also one good to have backups of everything. So. I mean, the local backup of Mapbox is certainly faster, but in addition to that, it doesn't require you to have now an internet connection in order to use Mapbox. And probably, you know, this is, we're just, if you're just starting out using this kind of thing, 
Um, you're going to get a Mapbox account yourself and test it and, and all of that. But you know, probably at some point in time, if you do actually start using it, you'd want to have one account that's used by your organization. And then when you're actually sharing these, um, or you're actually exporting and importing these, They're all connected to the same account so that everyone's basically using the same Mapbox service and, and you can standardize things, you know, eventually over time to say, okay, here's the ones, here's the styles that we've chosen to be, you know, the ones that we prefer to use. We've saved them in this, you know, local location. Um, please reference those when you're building out your, your uh, Tableau workbooks. And then you'll know everyone will be on the same page and using the same stuff. Okay. Any questions about any of that? Okay. Let's go back into Mapbox here, and so like I mentioned, these are the styles that come by default with Mapbox. Um, you can also create some new styles, and so there's a whole sort of programming interface called Mapbox Studio that you can use to build things in. So by default, if you make a new style, they have these templates. Um, so some of the ones are like the ones we just used here already. There's one, you know, that, and it tells you down here what it contains. So this one contains street information. Uh, this one is brighter. Um, you know, so here's a simple one. Here's a one that's a little brighter that contains street information. Here's one that contains terrain information, and you know, again, just sort of different styles. One that's more outdoors, one that's dark, streets and terrain, one that has satellite data, and then there's actually one that has traffic in it. Um, so I'm going to show you that because this is useful. So we can call this that box traffic day based on this one here and we create that and so this is the editor that I was telling you about so there's we're not going to get into this because this is super advanced but within Mapbox you know here's what's actually happening to you know create the maps there's all these different layers in here so it's probably you know if you're a, a visual designer it's similar to what might you might do in Photoshop except instead of you know layers within Photoshop these are layers within the map uh, so we'll just go ahead and publish this I think actually it, I didn't make any changes it just publishes it by default um, so there's my Mapbox traffic day and let's make another one Traffic night. I'm not sure which I'll like better. Let's try that one out. Okay. And these show up over here under styles again. So traffic night and traffic day. And you click over here where it says share, develop, and use. Um, so we're going to basically do the same thing we did before. We'll click on Tableau here and grab the integration URL. We'll go up here to map and add map box. And we'll do our 
other one here of traffic day. If I called it night instead of dark, but whatever. Mapbox traffic day. So we'll add this one over here. Mapbox services. Mapbox traffic day. And we paste that in there. So this is the kind of thing that I think having the traffic would actually be very useful for a map that you're going to be giving your gift officers. Because if we're going to make a dashboard here out of this, we'll drag this over uh, and make a dashboard real quick. Like this is, it's pulling the actual traffic. Like this is the live traffic that's happening right now as we speak in Indianapolis. So the cool thing about Mapbox is it has those kinds of services built into it that it can automatically generate those kinds of things. So at a glance here, your gift officer can quickly be able to see, okay, um, if I'm going to go out to, to a visit, I want to do a visit, uh, they don't need to pull up the list of the spots that they're going to go to and look at the traffic at the same time, they can just look at this one dashboard and it's going to tell them both. And they can zoom in and see and, and look down here and it's like, oh, okay, well, there's some yellow happening down there. So that's not, you know, I might want to avoid that area. But, you know, for the most part, the traffic is good. So if I'm going to be doing some traveling over here, you know, up north or whatever, um, right now everything's green. So it's a good time to go. Or we can flip back over here and look at the, uh, did I save the traffic dark one? It's at the top. Oh, there it is. So this, this might be better, depending on what you want to do. Again, it just provides maybe a little more contrast. Okay. This is also good, though, if you are traveling when it is dark outside that way you don't have something so bright you know, either on your phone as you're traveling around that's a good point okay any questions about this part doing custom styles in Mapbox so these are custom not really custom I mean again I just went up here and clicked on new style and just use one of the templates that they had, but you can you know, even upload a style. There's different map sources that you have available, and there's all kinds of stuff you can geek out on in there. Okay, well, there's one more thing I wanted to show you here that is useful if you want to do this kind of a map for your gift officers, and that is to put in an actual link using Google Maps so that they can click on a, a dot on here. So again, these are the locations of donors. So they can be able to click on it and then say, okay, give me directions to this. Or show, me, show me in Google Maps where this is at. Um, we actually covered this when we built this originally, but I just want to go over this again because it's a really cool, handy thing to do. So this is something that you do within the dashboard. So what I did is I created a new dashboard, just drug this over, so it's just a worksheet and a dashboard, very simple. And then under dashboards, you go up here and you go under actions, like that. You say add an action, and then you say add URL. And then you call it something. So in this case, I'll just call it Google Maps. And so this is my cheat sheet here. We actually have the way that Google Maps works with Tableau is that you can't pull, do this directly to Google Maps itself. 
Uh, it doesn't allow it to go from an application like Tableau. Um, so we have put this little um, web page on our website that allows you to basically embed it in, in Tableau. It's just kind of a, a little trick that we do. So we can show you this shortcut, uh, but basically just copy this as the URL and put it in here. And so what, you know, this isn't hard coded to anything. It's just using Google Maps and then it's taking the longitude and latitude. So you need to have these defined within your Tableau visualization. And then it will just, whatever you click on there, it's going to take you to the that location in Google Maps. Okay. So I just click OK. And now when I mouse over and actually click on one of the items, so this is clicking on one of the constituents, I get this link here to Google Maps. So now when I click on that, it will take me to the location where that person lives. And so that I can help, that I can get directions to it as well on Google Maps. So I'll just put my starting point, which if you're doing it on your phone, you can just say, hey, use wherever I'm at now, and then it will automatically give you the directions to get there. So this really, you know, you could end up developing pretty easily uh, just kind of an all-in-one reference tool for your gift officers to be able to go out and do their visits in the field. Um, they can pull this up on their phone and be able to do this very easily. Under uh, dashboard here, we can look at this under different devices. So if we wanted to see what it looks like on a phone, we would just go to device preview. Oops, let me go to phone. And then we say add the phone layout. So now the phone layout comes over here. Then I say fit all. And it shoves it all on there. It doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to remove these legends on the side so we can actually have it fit in there. Maybe hide the title. Um, so this is what it might look like on a phone. And they also give you different phone models up at the top, just so you can kind of test out approximate sizes on some of the more common phones. Yep. And then, of course, what you would do is just go ahead and publish that up to your Tableau server and then make that available to your gift officers. And you could publish more than one of them. So you could have one map, you know, that's using the dark background, one that's using, you know, the light background, and just try out different things and see what works for you. Um, traffic day would be my favorite one. Yeah, I like that one as well. Okay, are there any questions about Mapbox? We have kind of a, a timid crowd today, it would seem. Well, that's really all the material we have prepared for today. Usually we go a little bit longer, but uh, we were able to get through it quickly because there weren't a lot of questions. Hopefully that made sense for everyone. It's really super straightforward to use Mapbox with Tableau. Again, go in, create an account. All these styles are here by default. And really all you have to do is just, you know, click on them. Go down here, click where it says Tableau, copy the link, and you go back into Tableau, go under Maps, for those of you that are joining us late, and you say Add, Mapbox Maps, 
name it something, and paste it in there. Um, oh, it copied my uh, my Google Maps thing from before. But yeah, that's all we have today. So we'll stick around for a couple minutes in case other questions pop up. But other than that, thank you all very much.